Hey, hello, my friends. Hope everybody is well today. Well, I guess tonight, it's dark out. I'm Paul Apollonia. I'm going to show you what I sold on eBay. Uh, sales have been okay. I put a lot of blame on me. They could have been better, but you've got to list every day. And I've been kind of sidetracked with some things going on. Everything's fine. Just been things around the house and I'm creating an eBay store for a company and it's occupying a lot of my time. But the whole key with eBay, and I, and I kind of think with any kind of platform, is they want activity. And they want to see activity on your account. I like to list every day. Um, I, I've been kind of guilty of not doing that. So that's why sales have not been great for me the past two weeks. Um, I don't sell anything holiday related, to be honest with you. I keep an eye out for stuff like that, but I don't really um, go out and look for that stuff. I do a lot of parts. A lot of consignment for people. Um, I have a, a dishwasher course, a party on dishwasher course on Teachable. That link is down below with some discounts if you guys uh, want to buy that. It's a really good course, step by step. And I do a lot of consignment. Love consignment. Consignment's not for everyone. Uh, got a lot. Got to do a lot of work up front with consignment. Um, I think you have to do a lot of work with anything in, in this business anymore, whether it be up front, in the middle, on the end, whatever. Um, you got to kind of be like a therapist sometimes because you're going into situations where people are having trouble dealing with the loss of a loved one, a friend, clearing out a house that they've lived in all their lives, just stuff like that. But it's fun. I enjoy it. I love working with people. Uh, it's a 50-50 split. Uh, it used to be a tiered system, but I got away from that because it seems like I'm working much harder to sell more expensive items than I am selling the cheaper items. And I also run the Raleigh eBay meetup group. We meet second Thursday of the month at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm in North Carolina and it is a Zoom format meeting. Love to get it back to a live meeting. The issue is I'm getting more and more people from out of the area. But in 2023, I would really love to start maybe just an impromptu uh, meeting at maybe a coffee shop here and there through the, uh, you know, do the meetup and then maybe have a, uh, just an impromptu in-person meeting. Cause I personally like in-person meetings, but it's just a sign of the times. So I'm going to show you what I sold on eBay, um, how I got it, if I can remember and what I made, <laughs> if I can remember all this stuff. Okay, here we go. So let me shrink this down and Oh gosh. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please. Uh, 944 subscribers. Love every single one of you guys and gals. Thank you so much for subscribing and hanging in there. And please like this video. Don't forget when you after you subscribe, uh, cursor over cursor over. <laughs> Put your pointer over that bell icon and select all. That way you'll get all the videos I post. I try and do at least what I sold on eBay and other tips and tricks, mainly eBay focused and online selling focused. But I do have some frugal videos out there and some Chromebook videos. I'm a big Chromebook user. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right, let's go. Okay, let me shrink this down. Like I always say, whoops, you've seen enough of my ugly mug. Here we go. This is a part. Um, I made two videos, maybe even three videos of this in the past. Tell everybody what you are doing. I get a lot of my inventory for free. Um, there is a cost for getting stuff for free. You have to go get it. Uh, sometimes you have to take more stuff than you want which is fine with me, um, but I get a lot of my stuff for free, uh, make uh, contacts with uh, realtors, uh, organizers, um, just tell everybody what you're doing and not just once, but over and over again, don't be a pain in the neck about it, but just let them know, hey, don't, you know, I sell on eBay or hey, I sell on Amazon. It doesn't matter what you're selling, new, used, uh, if you're doing what they call retail arbitrage, where you're going out to stores, buying new items and flipping them online, just tell people what you're doing. You'd be amazed what people give you. Not just used old stuff. I've gotten new stuff. I've made hundreds and hundreds of dollars just from one person. Several people made hundreds of dollars. Tell people what you're doing. All right, back to the subject of the video. 
Try to keep this short for you guys. Sorry, I get carried away with giving you tips and tricks and stuff like that. This is a part I got for free from a uh, oven, obviously, a stove, um, stand, uh, standing stove, electric stove. Got this and a dryer from a client, from a realtor that I know that had a client that was like, I need to get rid of this dryer. And uh, she said, oh, I got somebody to come, come, come take that for you. Um, and I ran and got it. No, it was a washer. I'm sorry. It was a washer. And uh, Rana got that, and uh, she called me a week later and goes, I have an oven I'm getting rid of. Do you want that too? And I said, sure. I sold the control board of this oven for $84 plus shipping. I sold all the glass from the oven door. There's two pieces of glass in the door. There's an inside glass, that little window you look through to look at your cakes and stuff, if it's clean. If it's clean, <laughs> there's two pieces of glass. They're, they're identical. They're both tempered. They're all, they're all tempered glass. There's inside glass and then in the middle glass. And then there's a big outside glass. I sold all of those. Uh, how do I ship a piece of glass like that? I use pool noodles. Oops. I've done videos on this before too. I take pool noodles, slit them. This is just a, an example. And I framework it. I put it like a frame. I, I cut it like this. So it's an oops. So it's like an oop, so it's <laughs> so it's like at an angle, and um, and I just make it like a frame, and I put a piece. I cut this in half and put half of this on the front and in the back, and I tape heck out of it and I wrap it in cardboard. Usually it goes either UPS or FedEx, and I've uh, not had anything broken. Knock on wood. I would knock on my desk when my dog would start barking. Um, microwave oven trays. I've sold like that too. So this one I got for nothing. Um, real quick, my uh, titles are uh, keyword uh, searchable and uh, Google friendly. Don't use any. You don't want to use any special characters. I say that, and my students come and tell me, "Hey, I see all these listings with special characters that are selling." I know. I'm just trying to follow eBay's best practices. That's what they say not to do, and that's what I try not to do. Uh, parts number, maybe model number in there, the color, etc. Uh, I price my items, uh, sometimes what solds are, sometimes more, sometimes a little less. I do buy it now 99.9% .9 of the time. Not a big fan of auctions. Um, it's hard. Sometimes people don't pay. My shipping uh, is, um, I kind of guesstimate it. Uh, what do you do if I make money on shipping? I keep it. What if you do if you lose money on shipping? I eat it, um, but most of the time I make a little bit on shipping. Um, I very rarely ever refund anybody on shipping. If they ask, well, then I will, but I'm not a big fan of doing that. Um, let me get rid of those bookmarks. I'm sorry. There we go. Um, excuse me. What else? Economy shipping, I picked that because that gives me every option eBay offers, post office, FedEx, and UPS, and all the options they all offer. Uh, scroll down here. I always use condition descriptions when I'm selling anything but new. Uh, please make sure the item will fit your appliance. I have really good luck with selling stuff, parts and stuff. I rarely get a return, but hang on. I'm going to show you a problem I had with an item in uh, in here. You'll see. Item uh, specifics are very, very important. Make sure you fill all that pertain to your item. Uh, just take your time. This may take a little while to do, but this is very important. Where these play a, a key factor in is when you're searching on the left-hand side. Left-hand side? <laughs> On eBay, where all those options are used and color and stuff, they're pulling item specifics. And Google Shopping likes item specifics. Don't also forget, don't forget to uh, white backgrounds. At least your first photo should be on white backgrounds. eBay and Google Shopping love white backgrounds. Uh, my title, uh, my title, my description is pretty brief. Same thing as this, just copy and paste. My title and copy and paste of the... Uh, of the condition description, uh, I'm using, uh oh, where's, there it is. That is uh, what they used to call global shipping. Now I think it's all combined into international, global, whatever. How it used to work is, well, it still works, I guess, kind of. Uh, you would ship your item to a location in Kentucky if you're doing international shipping using global shipping, GSP, they call it. Once they get it, <coughs> you'll get an email <coughs> saying that, hey, we got your item. You are out of the picture. Get lost, stolen, or broken, and eBay will refund you and the buyer. I've never had a problem with global shipping. I know people say the buyers charge too much in taxes, 
blah, 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 whatever, use it, don't use it, it works for me. And I think all eBay international shipping is going to a global format, global shipping program format, where you're going to ship it to a certain location in the country and they're going to take over it from there. From what I heard, I really haven't looked into it. I've been a little busy. What else? I think that's about it. 30 day return period. That's your minimum anymore. Uh, oh, yeah. Economy shipping. The only problem with economy shipping is people are going to see, whoa, nine to 11 days. I'm not going to get it. But most of the time, I ship it pro either priority mail, UPS ground, or FedEx ground. And I get it really, really quick. And my feedback shows that. How much did I make off of this? Well, I paid nothing for the item. It took me probably about an hour and a half to part out all the items I took out of it. And I've made hundreds of dollars off of this oven already. I probably made um, maybe $35 off of this item. And it went UPS. And it broke when the guy got it. He said it was broken. I had to refund him. I forgot, that. I forgot about this. I sent it out. <laughs> Here's the story. I'm sorry. I sent it out to this guy, person. What, whoever it was, out to California. Uh, same day within hours, I shipped my stuff out really quick, ran it up to UPS. I was going on my son somewhere, we shopped over UPS. He messaged me back five days later saying, oh, I had the wrong address in there. Can you ship it to this address? Well, I already shipped it. And by eBay's rules, if uh, you shipped it, whatever address they provide, is the address you ship it to, and there's nothing I can do about it. So I watched this package go and wait and then go back. Not to me, but go back to UPS in California, go back out again. They weren't there. Go back out again. Go back and forth. Uh, 10 days later, uh, he just emailed me or uh, messaged me the other day. No, not email. Message me. Don't answer anything outside of eBay messages. It protects you to stay within eBay. He starts a return, says it was broken. Sends me a picture of the label for some reason. Excuse me. And there's this brown tape over the label. I think UPS opened this thing, or I think it got damaged. Obviously, it got damaged because it was broken. So I'm going back and forth with him. Well, you know, I sat out on time. I was getting a little snooty, to be honest with you. And I shouldn't have done that. Telling him that, you know, it, 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 I packed it properly. You know, it was bouncing back and forth different to the different addresses. Blah, 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 blah. And I say, can you send me pictures of the broken item? And he sends me pictures and it's broken. Now, my sales haven't been good the past two weeks. So I kind of really like needed this money, but it's okay. I've got other things going on, but I needed this money. So I refunded him and I'm currently trying to do a, um, a claim with UPS and I can't get it to work on their website for some reason. Thankfully, all these locations are close to me, UPS, FedEx, and the post office. So tomorrow I think I'm going to, and when I'm passing the UPS uh, office, I'm going to stop in and see if they can help me out. But yeah, it kind of stinks. Um, it happens. What can you do? Returns are part of the business. Uh, years ago when I first started, you know, 15 years ago, when I got a return, it would ruin my whole day. It would ruin two days. I'd get so mad I couldn't do anything. It's just part of business. Just accept it, whatever, deal with it, work with it. Work with them. Uh, I'm not a big fan of doing partial refunds on something. I have done it before. When uh, people say, well, this isn't right, this isn't, you know, something's not right with this. And I know there's scammers out there. I understand there's scammers out there. But honestly, I, I, I don't really have time to eat a return. Like I could have gotten this item, that, that item back and it would have cost me $15 to get it back or $12.95 or whatever it was. I forget how much it was going to, I looked at on eBay and it's just not worth it for me. You know, then I have to, Whatever. All right. So here's this other item, a little story behind this item too. This is a uh, dishwasher motor. This is, uh, hey, this is uh, all described in my dishwasher course on Teachable. That link is below. <laughs> um, let me know if you want that. I'll throw you a special deal. Uh, this is underneath the dishwasher. Uh, pretty easy to remove. Um, again, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, I've sold this item three times. Uh, this time it got returned and I'll show you again in, in, in further in these listings. Um, the guy repaired or bought another dishwasher. So I decided to buy another dishwasher. Great return. He could have said not as described. 
you know, there's all kind of lingo you can use in return where I'd have to eat the return. But he said, oh, order by mistake. And he paid to ship it back. It's a heavy item. Um, I think it went to New York. I think it went to New York to two times. And, and, and I, shipped out, I shipped out to California today. Um, so, you know, he paid $12 to ship it back to me. I, I, I didn't refund him. Um, so I didn't make a sale on this. <laughs> it got returned, but it's fine. Um, and I relisted it. This was an item I got from, I don't do a whole lot of garage sales or thrift store runs. Um, it's just not my thing, but, uh, but I know what to look for. And I bought this in a box of, uh, what is this? KitchenAid stuff. Yeah. KitchenAid food processor blades and everything. And I sold the blades and I sold everything. This thing's gotta be, this listing has to be, yeah, 2021. That's how long it's been out there. Uh, not a big dollar sale. Uh, people ask me, so what's the lowest you go to sell things on eBay or any platform? If I get a list it quick, uh, pack it quick and ship it quick, I'll make a couple bucks. I'm happy with that. Uh, people are, don't do that. Some people do nothing less than $25, $20, $50, whatever floats your boat. You run your business your way. I don't tell people what to do. Um, you know, a sales to sale to me, to be honest with you. Yes, I know kind of a waste. You're wasting five, 10 minutes making a listing to make five, $10. To me, it is fine. I don't care. A sales to sale. Um, so again, I got this for, I think, a dollar. It's the whole the whole thing, maybe $5. I, I forget. I bought it so long ago. Um, went out with free shipping. Uh, take the shipping first class. I think I weighed an ounce, maybe two ounces. How did I ship this? I think I just put it in a, a, um, a little padded uh, envelope, an eBay padded envelope. Um, we have two ounces, so probably made $10 on this. Not bad. Uh, these, uh, carry, uh, whenever you see these carrying machines anywhere, I find a lot of these in the trash. I don't do a whole lot of dumpster diving, but there's a furniture store. I get all my packing material from every Saturday. I run down there. It's pretty close. And I pull all the foam and everything out of there and use it for packing material. And a lot of times they have equipment they're throwing away from offices. And I find Kerrig machines. I find all sorts of weird things there. And I've sold them. I've sold pencil holders, you know, the spinning things you put on your desk around things, hold all the pencils and the scissors. I've sold them for really, really decent money. I found five of them brand new. And I think I sold each of them for $30 a piece plus shipping. There was some weird kind of on-demand desk organizer thing. I, I don't know. Um, but these do sell. These are not big ticket sellers, obviously. But these will sell really, really quick. Well, when I mean quick, I mean probably within a couple of days you'll sell it. Uh, I could have done free shipping on this. I chose not to. I just charged for shipping and it sold. Um, I think this is my own personal carry. We, it broke or something. I can't remember. But uh, the, these parts of these machines sell these and the water tanks uh, do sell. They may take a little while. They're what they call long tail sales, meaning you may have an eBay store or eBay listing for a while. Um, but hey, you know, I kind of list it and forget it, and I just go and tweak my listings every once in a while. Uh, what else? Well, I'm trying to think here. Uh, how do I get all this information through uh, looking at solds? And I Google everything I'm going to sell and pull information from Google. All this I pulled either from eBay listings or Google. Um, and, and like I said, these sell pretty good. Uh, there's really not much you do to these. You're just... Um, just clean them up really good. All these pictures are done on my Samsung phone. And I use, um, how I do my listings is I do um, find a, a similar item on eBay on my phone, sell similar. Then I take pictures, not in this order, and I upload them uh, from my phone on that listing. And I go to my uh, my computer or Chromebook and I do the uh, finish the listing there. I know many people run their whole business from their phone. Yeah, that's I know even the screens are big now. It's still too small for me to play with. Just a picture of the the thing that pierces the coffee cup at the bottom. Just taking some good pictures of everything. So sold that. Uh, didn't make a whole lot of money on that. Probably made uh, well, probably made about maybe seven fifty on that. How did I ship it? Went into a little padded envelope and went first class. Okay, VHS tapes. This one didn't sell for too much. I should have priced this higher. This was another old, old, old listing. Uh, 2021 of May, May 2021. Uh, v, uh, a lot of these, well, these Veggie Tales, I don't think ever made it to DVD. 
So these will sell. These may be a long tail sale. You may have them for a while in your store. Uh, they may not. I, I do not test these. I kind of sell these as they are. And I haven't really had a problem with selling VHS tapes. Um, you want to really focus on things that didn't make it over to DVD. A lot of these kids stuff didn't make it over. Barney. A lot of the Barney stuff didn't make it over to DVD. Bob the Builder. Um, other things from the early 90s. Was it early 90s or uh, mid 90s? I forget. My kids were young then. I forget all the stuff they were watching. Um, but uh, anything from PBS, from all those kids shows from PBS, I think a lot of the Arthur stuff didn't go. I think Clifford, I think some of the Clifford stuff made it to, to DVD, but not all of it. Just keep your eye out for some VHS saves. Most of the time you get this stuff for free, boxes and boxes of them, and just sort through them. There are some gems, a lot of wrestling, like wrestling, uh, stuff sells a lot of uh, stuff from different countries, like a tour of Spain, let's say, or a tour of Italy. A lot of train tours sell. Um, a lot of fitness stuff sells. You're going to have to group them together. Um, what's that called? Uh, oh, I, f I forget. Um, yeah, info they all in infomercials. But a lot of the fitness stuff, the old Jane Fonda stuff sells, the fitness stuff. Um, like I said, you probably get this stuff for free. You're not going to make a lot of money on it. Like I said, I should have priced this higher. I, I don't know what I was thinking at $9.99 with free shipping. I think I made six bucks off of this. But hey, it's gone. How did I ship it? It went out media mail. Probably paid about two something to ship it out. And I just put it in one of these padded uh, eBay envelopes again. Uh, this was a Razor scooter I found in the dumpster of the furniture store. Not in the dumpster, laying against the dumpster. Uh, I just pulled the front wheel off. I still haven't parted it all out. Found it a couple months ago. We won't talk about uh, dead in or death pile inventory. Um, but I did sell the wheel real quick. Sold it within two days for seventeen ninety nine. Took me all of probably about four minutes to remove the wheel from the scooter. Cleaned it up a little bit with some rubber protector, vinyl cleaner, and other cleaners. So five minutes worth of work, maybe ten minutes worth of work, maybe five minutes to list it. And it was gone. Looks brand new to me. Went out to California. I shoved this thing into a padded flat rate envelope through uh, the post office. Went out at 840, I think it was 845 cost. Made a little bit of money on shipping. Probably made about $15 on this. Again, it was laying next to the dumpster. I threw it in my van. Came home, took the wheel off. Uh, probably spent maybe 15 minutes on this total. So I will take that all day long. Uh, this was an item, again, tell everybody what you're doing. Uh, this was an item, believe it or not, I do headlight restoration where you've got cloudy or foggy headlights, and I clean them up. I used to have, a, I used to have an on-site auto detailing business, shut that down way back in 2010, and I uh, still restore headlights. It's very profitable, and I did these guys, this guy's headlights about a year ago, and I told him what to do. I said, hey, I sell stuff on eBay, and I, do, I did small engine repair way back in the day all through my life. And I had a kind of a good business going in my in my garage for about five years, repairing lawnmowers and stuff. But that business kind of dried up with the uh, throwaway society we are now. And he called me up about nine months later, going, "Boy, I got this generator. It works, but I just don't want it." And I'm like, "Sure, I'll take it." And I stopped repairing things and trying to flip them because it's just not worth it with all the no shows and everything. So I took this off. I took the pull cord, the uh, the recoil thing off, and a few other parts. Sold a recoil for $25, and I sold this for that $84.99. I Googled it and got all the information off of Google. I also had the, the model number. Where's the model number in here? I usually have the model number. No, I don't. But I pulled the model number off the obviously generator, and I got all this other information off of Google, and there was one eBay listing out there. Also, don't be afraid. If you don't see your item out there on eBay, oh, I can't sell this because nobody sold it. That could be a good thing. Um, this fits many generators, not just the uh, the power uh, the power mate. It fits probably a billion trillion generators with that uh, screw uh, dimensions there. So um, I was happy with that sale. How did I ship this out? This went out. How did this go out? I can't remember. Did I? Oh, I used a medium uh, Lowe's Home Improvement box. I think it was a heavy duty box. Gosh, I can't remember what I did. I'll just ship this. Uh, put it in there, put some uh, packing material on the bottom, put some packing material on the top. 
um, and used my box sizer, trimmed down the box, folded it over, taped it up really good. And it went UPS and I made money on shipping, probably about $5. No, it did not refund the buyer for shipping because it cost me the box, the materials, my time. Uh, did really well on this and I got this item for free. We're almost done here. Sorry for the all the chatting I was doing at the beginning. Just trying to give you guys lots of tips and tricks. Uh, part out a Chromebook. I love Chromebooks. Either you love them or hate them. They're not PCs or Macs. They're Chromebooks. They run off of the uh, Chrome operating system. They're a web-based computer, and I just I just love them. They're, they're really coming up. I think they're nipping at the heels at, at uh, Windows and Mac stuff, but that's just me. Part out this Chromebook. Uh, not a whole lot of money. Free shipping is everybody else is charging free shipping. It's a used screen. Yes, it was working. I even have pictures of it working so people know it's working. Um I shipped this out when I first class, I wrapped the living heck out of this out of foam wrap and I shipped it out on the coldest, it was over, over Christmas when it was like, gosh, like 20 degrees here, 22 degrees during the day or 25 during the day and dipped down into the single digits at night. So glad I got there and didn't break. <laughs> uh, probably made about $15 on this. Took me all of about five minutes to take the Chrome, uh, the screen off the Chromebook, and there's a lot of money in parts, people. A lot of money in parts, especially now with the uh, this if this ever this recession hits, which I hope it doesn't hit, but they're saying we're going to go into a recession again. I have no idea. People want to keep things running, whether it's computers, dishwashers, stoves, cars, whatever. People want to keep things running. Uh, this is another item I got. I was uh, somewhere and somebody said, hey, I got all these Chromebook chargers, cords. Do you want them or computer cords? I went, sure. Why not? They don't bring in a lot of money, but they will sell. Most of them. I grab them whenever I can. Um, and like I said, they don't sell. This is a pretty cheap one. Uh, are they? Uh, do I test them? Yes, I test them uh, if I can. If I have the, what is this one? No, I could not test it one because I don't have something, but it, it seemed like it worked. And for ten ninety nine, if it, if they say it didn't work, I'll just refund them and move on. Uh went out first class, probably cost me about three fifty to ship it out. Not a big dollar sale, but uh, it's good enough, seven bucks or so. Uh this item here I got at a ham fest. I'm a ham radio operator, amateur radio operator, N3 GCA. Uh, not super active, but I go to these things called ham fests, which are basically big ham radio, radio flea markets. And people are selling anything and everything at these things anymore. One is local. I go with no eBay garb, no nothing. People don't know what I'm doing. I'm just buying things and I get, I look for free stuff, tons of free stuff and free boxes. I've made so much money from free stuff, weird things that you wouldn't even think would sell, sell. Or if I got to buy something, it's going to be dirt cheap. Uh, I think I paid a dollar for this. No, I think oh, I was buying something else. And the guy said, hey, you want this? You want that? You want the other thing? I think I got this for free. Not a big dollar sale. Do I know it works? No, because I have for parts or repair. Now, let me explain it for parts or repair. I don't recommend, like when I'm teaching people how to sell on eBay, I, I don't recommend you going into this venue of parts or repair, not working things at the beginning, get some experience under your belt because there's some challenges doing this. Um, from what I heard, they've changed some things. You have to state for parts or repair in the title. You didn't have to do that before. Years ago, if it could power on, I would show it powered on. Well, that's a big no-no anymore. Um, you don't want to show it powered on because then people will think it's working. You need to state it up here in the title, and you have to make sure you have parts not working. And I <laughs> I stated several million times in the listing. Under condition descriptions, let's scroll down here. You can see it better. You are buying a non-working item. May have some scratches on it. Do, 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 do. do I have it in there? Sometimes I even added into the um, – I add a new uh, – a new. Uh, 
item specific and you're saying condition parts not working. You're buying an item, it's not working item. Now I have no idea if it's working or not. Uh, what I did was I had the cord to this, but I sold the cord separately. I think I sold the cord for $20. Actually made more money on the cord than I did on the item, but hey, I got it for, I don't know, maybe a, a less than a buck with, with everything I was buying. Not a big dollar sale. I made some money on shipping, probably made about $11 on this, maybe $12 on this. So, um, well, that is about it for this venture of what I sold on eBay. And I am trying to get on other platforms. I just haven't had time. I am a subscriber to List Perfectly. That link will be down below too. If you're interested in that, you'll get a percentage off your first month. It's a really great program. You uh, load everything into List Perfectly, and then you can shoot it out to all different platforms. And the platforms are growing every week. They're adding new platforms. I have uh, sell on uh, eBay, excuse me, and some Macari stuff. And I really need to get back to using that because it's a great program, very easy to use. Um, support is insane. They're just wonderful people. Uh, definitely check that out. Check that link down below. Um, that is about it. Sorry for the scattered brain here. Just trying to figure out. I got everything in for you guys. Yep. And trying to keep this short. And I know I went too long again. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Check out everything. Check out all the links below. And I will see you next time. You guys have a, uh, have a great night. Have a great day tomorrow. Bye-bye now.